Georgia from Tumblebees. Again, it's the last week of term, so we're just showing you some ways to have fun and um, learn. Still teaching gymnastics, because gymnastics is not just about balancing on beams and swinging on bars. It's actually, British gymnastics talk about splice. It's S for social, which me and George are together for this one. P for physical, we're doing lots of physical activities. L for lingual, so it's learning about the language and speech. I for, oh um, gosh, nearly forgetting now, for intelligence. Trust me to forget that one. And we are learning lots of intelligence when we're teaching the children counting. Um, C for creativity, and where you can be as creative as you like with any of these exercises that we give you. And E is for education and emotion. And again, obviously with education, we are doing our counting and uh, emotion we could see if afterwards you could ask your child did it how did it make you feel did it make you feel happy did it make you feel sad did it make you feel just okay etc so today me and george are sitting with our feet together we don't have to have our feet together we've got a similar size legs but obviously with your little children their legs might be much shorter but we've made uh, we're sitting in a straddle sit opposite each other, aren't we, George? Just with our legs in a straddle. Do you have a ball, George? Yes, I George do. George has a ball. George has a ball. So we're going to show you some of the things that you can teach your children with a ball. Again, caution with a ball indoors. We've got a very soft ball that doesn't really bounce much. But again, we're just showing you this inside. It's When we're having such lovely weather as we are doing, you could do this outside in the garden. So first of all, George is going to lose that ball. We're going to teach the children rolling the ball and catching it. So we're going to roll it and catch it. So rolling it. The aim is to keep it on the floor and not have the children throw it at the minute. So, they're, uh, so George did a little throw there, but what we'd like is to keep it on the floor at all times and push with our hands pushing. So we're just getting the roll effect. That's good. That's good. Now, what we could do is bring in a tiny bounce. So one bounce, Try. you could even, children like visuals, so you could put a marker on the floor, a piece of paper, well maybe not a piece of paper, it's not going to, um, it's not going to bounce on a piece of paper, but just tell them to look somewhere in the middle and try and bounce it there into the middle and the other person catch it. One little bounce. And we're getting the children to bounce and catch, bounce and catch, bounce and catch. Good, George. Keep them, tell them to keep their eye on the ball at all times because it's so much easier. As you saw then, that bounced across here. But because I was looking at the ball, it was easier to catch children. Boing, boing. Okay, shall we make it even <laughs> harder still, George? How about yeah. it? We have a ball each. What we're going to do is I'm going to tell George to roll it to this leg and I'm going to roll mine to that leg. And then every time we get a ball, we're going to keep rolling it in the same position. Are you ready? After yeah. three. One, two, three, go. Okay, and make sure we're ready. Go. It might be a good idea to instruct, go. 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 And this, go. you're really having to keep your eye on two balls at once. Realise, so a constant, a little bit like multitasking really. So I'm rolling one and trying to get the other one when it comes down. Do you think we could try changing direction, George? I'm now yeah. going to roll to that leg and you're going to roll to this leg. Are you ready? Should we count backwards from five? Five, five four, three, two, one, one. go. Roll, roll, up, roll. Whoa, roll, 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 oh, very good. Okay, do we think, what would happen if we rolled them at each other, George? Go, up, try that, that's one, two, three, go. And we're actually trying to get them to hit each other, the balls, so that we're seeing if we've got the same direction skills. Are ready? One, two, three, go, way. <laughs> One, two, three, go! Hey! One, two, three, go! Yay! Okay, let's do some stretching with our balls. Can you reach it up in the air? 
can you bring it onto your head? Can you, using your fingertips, just your fingertips, roll it all the way down your body to the floor? Can you roll it forwards? Let's go. You go to that side, now go to that side and see how far forwards you can roll it. Oh, oh. <laughs> George is about as flexible as me, isn't he? And that's not very. Let's tiptoe it back with your fingertips. See if you can roll it back with your body, George. Can you sit up nice and tall, George? Can you roll it all the way onto your head? Stretch up. And this time, bring it down to one leg and using your fingertips, roll it all the way down to your toes. And then across the floor. And back up. Okay, so that, again, we keep t teaching the children this shape. Let's roll it down one leg. So we're going to make a shape with our ball Roll it down one leg, that's one side. Roll it across the floor, that's two sides. And then back up to where you started, three sides. Three sides. So children, <laughs> what is a three-sided shape that looks like that? A triangle. A triangle, is that what you said? Well done, very good. So we could also try some little throws and catches. Rather than throwing them really high up in the air, just really letting go a little bit and trying to catch it again. Okay, so this will give them good hand-eye coordination. You could ask them to go a little bit higher and maybe even clap. Whoa! Whoa! Now I do appreciate all the children are of different ages, so with the little ones, just the rolling and catching is going to be really good fun for them. So I think, oh, that was good. Roll that to me. Hey. Okay, you can have lots of fun. Maybe a challenge here. You could come up with some different ideas and post them on our Facebook social group. I'd love to see them on there. It's always good. Thinking outside the box, using that intelligence as a part of the splice, using the creativity side of it. You know, children come up with such wonderful ideas Far better than mine in my 50s. My, my intelligence and creativity is on a downward slump. But I think the children have so much creativity. And they don't have to stick to what we're showing them. We're just giving you ways and ideas of what to do. But we've had lots of fun, haven't we, George? Yeah. And we will be back with some more videos and some more games. And I have got some more games for you to have fun with, um, which I'll be coming along with soon. So shall we say a big bye-bye, George? Bye. Bye, everybody.